Life can be beautiful, even in the midst of grieving. So says one local artist whom I had the pleasure of interviewing in our latest Art with Elsa. Is this all yours? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Thank you. This is a very small amount of what I do. Oh my I can't. goodness. This is I have beautiful. no more wall space. Walk into Claudia Chappelle's place and you immediately feel the passion she has for painting. I You're, do it in my studio. Your studio? Can I see it? Of course. All right. Let's go. Come on, Come on guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, you first. For her, creativity is a calling. Wow. This is a great space. It is, I know. I realize I'm happy and at peace when I'm creating. Um, if I'm feeling stressed, all I want to do is go downstairs. It's like I think to myself, I just want to go downstairs because going downstairs means I'm going to open and do, you know, just do something. She's been an artist since she was a toddler, always making something. Jewelry, flooring tiles, watercolors, acrylics. But there was a time, not so long ago, that tragedy stopped her in her tracks. Was it hard for you to create? or were you able to create because it was an outlet, or how was it? No, I, I would, didn't want to do anything. And it took a while to get back into it. It probably took maybe even a couple years before I started painting again. 14 years ago, Claudia's son passed away, suddenly and unexpectedly, a young man in the prime of his life. Benjamin was multi-talented, he was a visual artist and he was learning to play guitar and he was a writer. He was multi-talented, um, very, very smart and sweet, very, very sweet. How are you doing now? Same as I was doing last year. You know, at some point it levels off. I still cry. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a mom. <laughs> As a mother, Claudia said she knew she had to do something roughly two years ago when she found herself speaking about her grief twice within two days to mothers whom had just lost sons themselves. And I went home and said, I gotta write this down, I gotta get it to these girls before the holidays. And so I sat down with my computer and as I'm writing the first thing that came up, I think, oh, I have, I have an, a, a piece of artwork that would be a perfect um, accompaniment to this, what I just wrote. So I went through my file, my digital file of my artwork, and I found it, and I plopped it in, and I went on Snapfish, and I wrote about half of where the book is now, I wrote, and because it's like all right on top of my head. And then you had a book. I had a book, and it was half as long as it is now, and I was really nervous that it was inappropriate for me to just give these two people this book. What if it makes them feel worse? I didn't know how it would make them feel. And I got such... I mean, the woman I gave it to was like, she said, I take it to bed with me. She just, it's like me talking to her. It's like holds her hand. What do you think is special about this book? I think it helps you to feel like you're not alone. Everything you're feeling is written down, so therefore it's not just you going crazy in your head. And it's not just saying, okay, you feel like this, you're angry. I remember being angry at everything, at everyone all the time. That's not all it is. It's like... Every page reminds you that number one in time you're going to get stronger and, you're, and the weight of this, the weight of the loss doesn't get like. Living life in the light has become more important to me now. I know that my son is there. And so her book, aptly named The Art of Living with Grief, helps people navigate to that light even on the darkest of days. Those are days Claudia says she knows all too well. That's why she's so happy to help those who are still experiencing them. This book gives my grief and my art a purpose. And, and that kind of stuck with me because it's like, what do you do with all this paint? And the art, I mean, I got boxes of it. So what am I gonna do with it if I don't use it for a good cause? So if I can lift up other people, then I'm lifting myself up as well. This is me. Find what works for you. Find what keeps you in the light and you will find your child there.
You can get Claudia Chappelle's book by going to Amazon or anywhere books are sold. She also has a great Facebook community to help others who are dealing with loss. Just search The Art of Living with Grief. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.